Okay, we're, we're pushing towards 1700. I think if I win this one, I'm over 17. And he's got an Among Us among us weird image so this guy's probably good I think your opponents get really cocky when they're up a queen and they lose. Always possible, yeah. I do want to... Okay, I'll just sack because I have d5 to close close the center of the board. If I couldn't close the center, I probably wouldn't do this. Go c5. They get a shade dog for the gifted sub. Okay, it takes. So I'm going to go here, hit both pawns. I was hoping we would go c3, but... Beggars can't be choosers. I guess I just take and castle my king out. Go back. I really just need to get my king castled. It play does play c4. That's actually a very good move. Um the take and take. It hangs the pawn, but it really opens up the board. That's why I'm not happy that he played it. Well, I mean, I guess I'll take. I mean, I have two pawns for a queen. I mean, that's a lot of compensation. Nine is barely better than two. So I should be doing somewhat okay. Let's go here. And castle, maybe. Can Stockfish do the same thing to you? No. Uh, because because the thing is, the thing is, really strong players, what they'll do is they simplify the board. So no, that, that's the biggest difference is that is that we just simplify. You just trade off material. Just go here, I guess, and castle. I actually kind of like my position here. It's somewhat decent. Like maybe it's too strong of a word. I mean, it's still very bad, but it's at least kind of playable. Two pawns for a queen. Yes, two pawns for a queen. It's great. It's great compensation. Yeah, but the problem with this now, I take, I go here, and now my knight is jumping a little bit. I've got a great pawn chain. Two pawns, obviously, are worth a lot. The Bastion is worth a lot. The Connects 4 is worth a lot. Everything is really looking good here. I can even go Knight F4, but I don't really like it. I'm just going to go E5, maybe Knight F4 next move. Can I show how to play against Stockfish without a Queen? Uh, pretty much, I'll tell you guys. You, I don't even need to show you. Um, you hit this little button. There's a little uh, There's a little button on the board below the moves, which there's a path sign for a draw. And there's a, there's a white flag for resign. Uh, you pretty much just hit that white flag for resign. And that's how you play against Stockfish without a queen. That's uh, that's that's the best best suggestion I have for you guys. <laughs> Thank you to Andy Locks for the five months. Thank you so much to Andy Locks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to go here. He's actually kind of getting his knight trapped almost. It's kind of weird. Alternatively, you can press a draw button and pray. True. Thank you to Tomb for the six months. Thank you to Aspasia for the Prime. Thank you so much to Aspasia. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so he takes. Now, do I take or do I take? The piece must matter more than the pawn chain. So now I have two I have two, two knights. I just take. I have these knights for the queen. And I have two pawns. It's actually kind of looking quite decent. Like, actually more than decent. It's, it, oh, I also have Rook G6 here. I'm not going to lose this, at least. That much I'm sure of. Magnus can beat Stockfish? No. No, nobody can. We're, 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 I mean, I've said it before, but like to put it in perspective, uh, we're a 1,000 points weaker than Stockfish. A 1,000 points, you guys. Uh, so no, just no. I'm going to go Rook G6 and hit the Queen, I think. Maybe Rook A1. Rook A so here, hit the Queen. No, I mean, Magnus is, Magnus is a joke compared to Stockfish. I mean, he's a 1,000 points lower rated. That's like me playing 1,800, to put it in perspective. Just, just uh, I mean, it's just, it's not comparable. We're just that bad at chess. I think, I thought I had 91, but maybe I should check. Check first. Can I at least make a draw? It, depending on the situation sometimes, but even then, I mean, it's hard. It's really, really hard. So I take, these knights are going to lead to something. If he goes here, he gets made. He has to go here. How do I mate with these knights? I don't actually see it right off. Oh, he walks right into it. Well, we got the checkmate anyway. 
thank you to dragon of the west for the uh for, for the tier two thank you so much to dragon of the west thank you to machete don't don't smoke for the prime the x3 emx for the prime thank you so much you guys appreciate it someone will clip it into into youtube short that i said magnus is a joke sure clip it out of context by all means by all means i'm 1600 rated and rapid is that considered good at chess that's better than 99 that's probably better than about 99 percent of people who ever play the game so it's pretty decent yeah yeah uh, let's just sack for the night and go here but the score text a bit to the left it's it's annoying me uh I, I could do that I guess um where where is it one second and maybe it's a little bit off yeah actually it, it is it was a little bit off it's kind of kind of annoying okay let's just castle here no it was off it actually should be inside the actually now now it looks off to me though one second okay that looks perfect okay let's go uh 91 keep peace on the board of course because c4 attack the knight go e4 maybe knight e3 knight c3 just go back uh taught at steel by the way you guys starts tomorrow i will be covering it on our channel here with uh benjamin bach one of our very nice adopted uh adopted children so we will be covering it with benjamin um in case you guys were wondering I'll go I don't even know what I'm doing here I'll go here and play d4 again not a good move I'm trying to I mean it's really questionable opening up the center of the board here against the 1600 but maybe I can get away with it I mean it's still I'm still only down a queen when will I start stacking for two pieces I don't know if I can really I mean it's, it's hard to do that um I feel like it's easier to sack for a rook than it is to sack for a bishop and a knight, unless you get a position where they do play like knight f6 and bishop g4. Um, but it's it's very hard to sack for two pieces. I'll go e5 here. I kind of like my position actually. It's a little bit, it's actually somewhat decent here. I'm gonna go like knight e8, and I guess I'm gonna go c5. It's actually not so bad. I mean d5. I guess I go b4 maybe. He goes queen e7 which is actually a very good move i was hoping he wouldn't find it but he did now the problem is how do i not let the board just open up i don't have a good way if i take and go here probably try to hit the pawn use this diagonal i mean you can obviously take the pawn but i'll go back to d1 and then activate the bishop hopefully thank you to x use for the prime when did i first hear about twitch and from where um the very first time i heard about twitch i'm not actually sure i mean i'm pretty confident i heard about it when it was just way back in the early days when it was what justin.tv um oh, knight f6 is a very okay whatever i've got to gamble here and hope that he misses something i might be six to hit the rooks even um i think the first time i heard about it though like like really heard about it was um was back uh when when byron i think i heard about it from byron actually shoot this is really problematic um I got I gotta move quick I gotta move quick and gamble here I can't trade pieces here I just have to gamble okay now I blunders a rook that's good yeah I think the first time that I looked into twitch seriously and by looked into it I mean um shoot it's queen h3 stupid tactic um the uh, first time I really really uh that, that I really started thinking about it was like when I spoke to Byron that's before I was even that's before I was even streaming so that, that that's the origins okay let's go um let's go here I got I got to be fast rookie one's a bad move too though go here try to win this pawn if I win this pawn I think I'll be okay he's got no time I mean I have bishop e5 I've got rook d1 do I think I could beat levy down a rook or a knight in a slow game no chance in a blitz game maybe I could down a knight rook definitely not um um shoot how do I do this I gotta keep this on the board why am I thinking so long um just move just move just move here take the pawn if I win this a3 pawn I win the game it's pretty much that simple and I think I'm gonna win this a3 pawn right about now yes now I win the pawn and I mean with 29 seconds there's no way he's gonna beat me in this end game no chance 
He's playing some good moves. Actually, I miss playing this quite seriously. What, what am I doing? What am I doing, actually? I'm really miss playing this. I'm actually probably going to lose this game. Flagged? <laughs> I was moving too slow. <laughs> okay. I thought he, I thought I had more time than I did. That's funny. I thought I had more time. Somehow I didn't realize that I, that I, I was so low on time there. I thought I had like an extra ten seconds. Very poor. And now I just played a terrible opening. And I'm probably gonna lose this game too. Although he didn't take advantage of it. Yeah, I was way too slow there. Dirty flag. Yeah, it almost worked. I should have just taken the queen and made the draw. But I was trying I was trying really hard to to win that game rather than take the draw. That's unfortunate. I do wonder though if he I do wonder if he could have won. Um I do wonder if he could have won that with just the queen versus king with five seconds. That's actually the question that I have. Okay, let's take the pawn, play b5 and c5, I guess. Let's go b5, c5. Yeah. Yeah. If I had taken the queen and he had five seconds, I don't know. I probably should have done that, but I really wanted the win there. I didn't I didn't want to make the draw. Oh, I had C5, C4. It's a mistake. Yeah. Depends if he plays Blitz. Yeah, definitely. Um, true. But yeah, these guys are getting... these. It's already... Th this game, too, is very iffy. Got queen. Wait, I oh wait, I have d5 and bishop c5. Luckily, yeah, it's getting very tricky. I guess I should go here and keep the knight on the safe square where it protects the diagonal. Go here, play c5, c4. Impossible to win at 18, 1900. I'm not sure about that actually. I think I can get to I think I should be able to get to 2000 I don't know if I can get higher than that it really depends if I get if I get castled I mean I just have to get castled quickly I never should have let him trade the knight for the bishop that was actually a huge mistake do I play c4 I think I do because I can take and go here okay I'm gonna win this game quickly Sacking for a rook, yeah. I mean, I'll probably start sacking, trying to sack for a rook around that rating range. I still feel maybe already sacking for a piece is, is not enough. Although I still feel like I'm close. I'm close. I think my goal is to get to about 1800 sacking for a piece, and then I'm then I'm gonna probably look for two pieces or for a rook if I can. Okay, well that was just weird. Are you? Are you though? What? Okay, let's go rook d4 and trade. But yeah, that's okay. I guess. Good check. Okay, resigns keep going I'm gonna move really quick too I'm just gonna I'm gonna speed it up a lot here shouldn't shouldn't have played this because okay I'm just gonna get castle and I'm probably gonna sack for the night a little bit gross maybe I should take and then sack try to find a good sack here Three losses, of course. This is this is very hard. This is not a. I don't even know what I'm doing. How am I gonna sack my queen here exactly? 
I mean, I can always sack for the knight. I guess I'll sack now and take on h6, maybe. I mean, I guess I'm going to win a rook here, at least. So it's kind of working out a little bit better. Thank you to Professor Ted for the 29 months. Thank you so much, Professor Ted. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Wait, he played... Uh... Oh, wait. I can just take and take and bring the king close to the center. I, I actually should be fine here. Go f3, consolidate the chain. Important to do that. Let's move the bishop out of the way so we can't push pawn. Oops, there goes the rook. Do I like burritos? Yes, of course I like burritos. Who doesn't like burritos? Yeah, this pawn's going very fast up the board. Take the pawn. He can't take some h7. And I go g4, g5. Force the pawn up the board and we win. I go here. Guard, g5, h7. Next move. Or actually, I can even go uh, check in h7. This also just works. How are these guys 1700? Don't ask me. Uh, I'll just keep the knight on the board and make a queen. Good check. Good check. F6 and queen e7. Actually, I can just do this. There we go. <clears throat> Keep going. If you think they play worse and you're just overestimating your own abilities, yeah, totally agree. Oh, this guy's playing in English, so he likes slow positions. Let's just sack. Wait, he was ready for that. Wait, okay. Okay, sorry, I'm not talking. I gotta focus. He was ready for the sack. Okay. So he's clearly sniping. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be very quiet for a second because he, he's he's sniping. Let's go here, touch target the pawn. Go C five. I should be happy with that move. I don't actually see a way to punish it, but go here. I really like my position here. I think I'm already much better here. Because he can't push the pawn. Actually, sorry. Much better is the wrong word. I'm down I'm down a queen. So much better is the wrong way of putting it. Um, but I think I'm doing okay. Yeah, much better. Yeah, much better. Yeah, yeah. Much better. It's not, not, quite, not quite the right way of putting it. <laughs> let's go rook c8. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go here. Put pressure on the pawn. Mainly the thing is the position has to be closed for me to have a chance. If it gets opened up. Then, then they will be able to trade. Um, I guess I'll go here and take the take the juicer. Here, blockade, bad bishop, very very bad bishop. By the way, it's just not very good on b2. I'm gonna be quiet," said the man that keeps narrating his play. <laughs> yeah, true. I still like my position. It's not not perfect, but it's somewhat decent. Here, I I, I do like it though. I like what I have. He's got a very bad bishop. His knight actually, both these pieces are really misplaced. Like the knight has no squares at all. Like they're just no squares for the knight. It's just really really awkward. And the bishop is behind the pawn. So both of these two, the bishop and the knight, are not very good here for White. go here I think I just no wait I gotta be a little bit careful here I think I'm gonna go here I want to check maybe I miss Queen b5 still kind of okay I guess but this is not what I wanted at all is Queen e2 or something I don't know Thank you, uh, Alexei, for the 10 months. Thank you so much, Alexei. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. 
Time does go fast when you're having fun. Agreed. Agreed. But he's deep in the tank here. Trying to find a move. He plays A5, which I don't actually like. I'm just going to go here. Consolidate my bishops. Take with the pawn here. Do I like guacamole? I love guac. Guac is amazing. Who doesn't like guac? I'm trying to go knight. He's almost actually made it here. Wait. I check and I go here. He's almost just me. I think he's at, he's lost at the very least. Guacamole is as good as it gets. You can't ask for anything better in life. Let's go check and take. Okay, another win. Let's take the pawn. We've F2, I guess. Take the pawn. Take that. Take everything. Game over. Thank you to Ulik for the 13. Thank you, Sadi, for the two months. Thank you so much, Sadi. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. We're, we're pushing towards 1700. I think if I win this one, I'm over 17. And he's got an Among Us, Among Us weird image. So this guy's probably good. Um, because everybody who plays Among Us is a five head, generally. Good D392. Can take and play Bishop E2 here. Uh, thank you to Big Boy for the prime. I, I probably mispronounced that, but thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm going to castle play E4. Very standard stuff here. Um, actually, let's go B3 and, and cast roll long. With your work rate, did you ever consider joining management consulting? I actually don't know what you mean by that. What 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 do you mean specifically about management consulting? I actually don't know what you mean by that. Go A3 and stop night before. No, I don't. It's not an insult. I just I don't know what it means. That's all. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't want another uh, donation. I just. I just don't understand what the question is. That's all. Um, I guess I'll play C4 here. Oh, a generic high-paying business job. Oh, um, not really. I don't know. Yeah, I, I just. I. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I. I don't know what management consult. Like what. What exactly that means. Sorry. Um. Oh, it's like Deloitte, Boston, Consulting, McKinsey. They advise business on their problems and help them find solutions. Oh, okay. I guess that makes that makes more sense. Um, it's not really something I ever thought about, I guess you could say. I'm going to go D4 here and takes. I, I don't know. It's just, I know the idea of working in an office never really, it never really appealed to me at any time in my life. Rook B8 is a good move by my opponent, like a very good very very solid i'm gonna play h to kick the knight or kick the bishop that's a mistake but maybe it's not okay it goes bishop f5 so i guess i'll go here consolidate i have rook c1 i think you're jealous for the eight months thank you jack soon for the prime thank you so much to jack soon appreciate it thank you b5 i mean i guess i just go here and go b4 if i want I think it's actually a good move because I'm hitting the pawn on C6 here if he takes. Looks pretty good. What is this exactly? He wants Bishop H3. I understand that, but I can just go here to kick the queen. Now I take and I'm doing great. This is a... well, wait, how much do I have here? I have two pieces, so I don't have a ton, but I have something. Okay, let's go here, hit the queen and the bishop. I'm just gonna take the bishop, take the pawn, and it should be fine. Let's just take and I take with a D pawn. This looks pretty good, actually. All things considered. Okay, 95 is a good move by him. I'm gonna take the open file here. But yeah, business management, I mean, it's just it never any of those like business sort of things, they just never ever appealed to me. What am I doing here? Um hmm, this is kind of ugly. Let's just go e4. I guess attack the queen. I can swing the rook. I have bishop c1. Uh, I think I'm going to go here to hit the queen. Here. And now he blunders this. Now he takes. I take. And now he takes. I have three pieces for the queen. And now I'm going to win. 
is it really dollars for a prime i thought streamers get half of each sub um amazon gets their cut anyway but thank you k more get some for the amos xxc azia prime thank you so much appreciate it um i do have e5 here which looks pretty good because i can take the pawn i just want to take and then push this pawn up the board because now this pawn's going soon and the double ops are pretty good what do i do after streaming usually i go home i take an hour and i just like clear my mind pretty much um that's the first thing i do and i'm gonna take and everything's looking really good here i think i can just start running i can run with the two bishops because they cover the critical squares yeah i just keep running the pawn now the pawn's one square away and he resigns and we get the dub very very nice